$1,200 sports stimulus check update. There are some states which are issuing stimulus check onto state level in various sorts of a tax relief program, other financial relief, rebates, and they are sending out totaling hundreds and thousands of dollars resulting in larger tax refunds, larger relief in your hands. And this one including people receiving social security, SSI, SSDI, VA, survivors benefits. We have got all the important details. We'll be also going to cover the exact eligibility criteria requirements and we have got all the important details regarding a fourth stimulus check update we have got stimulus check update rebates which are being sent out in each and every state states like alaska california montana washington massachusetts also arizona arkans colorado georgia idaho indiana iowa kentucky louisiana michigan mississippi missouri montana nebraska new hampshire north carolina north dakota ohio oklahoma south carolina Utah and West Virginia. These are some states which are providing some sort of a stimulus program to offer financial relief. Check this chart how much maximum credit amount potentially totaling hundreds of dollars and resulting in larger financial relief. We'll be also going to cover the exact eligibility criteria requirements. So please watch this video till the end for all the important states. Alongside we have got the fourth stimulus check update all the latest information. So guys make sure to hit that like if you found this video helpful and make sure to subscribe to our channel with all the bell notification turn on and without further ado let's jump right into all the details the latest stimulus check update i wanted to give you some of a backstory of the first stimulus check also known as economic impact payment eip which was first issued in the april 2020 it was a one-time payment of 1200 dollars for most adults and 500 dollars for most of the children and then right up to that the second stimulus check also known as the coronavirus aid relief and economic security or cares act this is what CARES Act exactly means. This one was issued in the December 2020 and this CARES Act issued one-time payment of $600 for most of the adults and $300 for most of the children. Then right up to that, the third stimulus check also known as American Rescue Plan Act ARPA was issued into the month of March 2021 and it was one-time payment of $1,400 for most of the adults and $1,400 for each dependent child. If you take a look at all of the stimulus money the total amount of stimulus money that has been distributed to americans is over one trillion dollars and these stimulus checks were proven to be helping keeping millions and millions of americans out of their poverty during the covid 19 pandemic alongside with that stimulus check helped stimulating the economy by increasing the consumer spending stimulus check have been controversial with some people arguing that they are not necessary and while other people argue that they are not enough stimulus checks are advances on tax credit so you can file tax return to claim your money if you didn't get a check and parents are more likely than non-parents to get more stimulus money from federal government now typically all those rounds of stimulus check the amount of the stimulus payment that was distributed was based on the income and filing status these stimulus payment offered are not taxable income and not subjected to garnishment or any sort of attachment these payments can be used for paying expenses including rent food medical bills no strings attached talking about the poor stimulus check the average check was $1,400 there have been some calls for the fourth stimulus check but as of right now there is no indication from Congress whether they are considering it or not there are some reason why Congress may or may not be considering fourth stimulus check because you know what currently economy is doing well unemployment rate is low and stock market is doing well inflation is a concern as of right now so that's a definite thing inflation is at 40 years high people are worried that fourth stimulus check would make inflation even more worse but here's the thing guys during the rising cost of goods and services this inflationary period people actually need more and more help and that's where people also worry about inflation sending out for stimulus check could make inflation more worsen so do let me know what do you think about it whether you think stimulus check is necessary during this period or not just comment down below whether you require stimulus check or not talking about the political stance democrats and republicans cannot agree on fourth stimulus check because democrats want a larger check than republicans are willing to agree now ultimately the decision whether or not to provide fourth stimulus check is a political decision if congress decide to pass a bill it would be up to president biden to sign it into law to issue fourth round of stimulus check however there are some states which are issuing stimulus check onto state level in various sorts of a tax relief program other financial relief rebates and they are sending out totaling hundreds and thousands 
thousands of dollars resulting in larger tax refunds larger relief so guys without a further ado let's discuss which states and who is eligible and when payments will be arriving first program takes us to the beautiful state of alaska if you are an alaska resident then you have the opportunity to benefit from alaska's permanent fund dividend now this dividend is funded by states mineral royalties and allows alaska residents to share in the revenue upcoming payments for some of the residents will be distributed on to the june 15 2023 that means in just about a week or so and also on to july 20 2023 moving on to the sunny california we have got california's middle class tax refund under this program eligible households can receive refund of ranging from 200 dollars going up to 1050 dollars this is depending on their adjusted gross income and here is the thing guys as far as the ladies details depending on your adjusted gross income your filing status whether you have got dependents or not these payments amount do vary a lot while most of the payments have been already issued but still there are some payments which are undergoing review and if you believe that you still didn't got your payment then don't worry you can contact their customer support number listed on to the california franchise tax board website this one right over here and they can further assist you with all the latest details just head over to ftb.ca.gov at the end of the page you have got the contact detail next one we got montana now let's head over to the big sky country montana governor greg gian signed a state house bill into the law which provide tax rebate for eligible montana taxpayers house bill 192 house bill 222 and house bill 816 provide rebates for the property taxes paid into the years 2022 and 2023 also they have got individual income taxes under the house bill 192 to check and see whether you are eligible head over to mtrevenue.gov slash taxes to check out all the latest information next one we got new mexico tax rebate right here into the down south in new mexico governor michelle lejan grisham and state legislature have been approved for rebates for new mexico taxpayers along with some economic relief payments for non-taxpayer filers a refundable income tax rebate of one thousand dollar for married couples filing joint returns and heads of household and surviving spouses receiving one thousand dollars and five hundred dollars for single filers and married individuals filing separately these rebates will be sent automatically to new mexico residents who have filed their 2021 income tax personal income tax return and not declared as a dependent on another taxpayer's return remember no application is required and date of issuance is mid-june 2023 that means on to the 15th of the june in the mid-june 2023 you'll be going to receive your payment and eligible residents will have until may 31st 2024 they have got quite a lot of time to file for their 2021 personal income tax return if they have not yet already done so so those new mexico residents who do not qualify for the rebates above the amount has not been determined but 15 million has been approved for the payments and there will be an application process onto human service department and distribution is expected to take place in the month of july in the next month those recipients will be going to receive their payment next one we got washington state tax credit for workers applications are now open for new tax credit for washington workers the working families tax credit will provide you payments up to one thousand two hundred dollar to individuals and families who meet certain eligibility requirements now in order to be eligible for working family tax credit for the eligibility you must meet following criteria so yes you need to have a valid social security number also individual tax identification number also you have earned the income from work or self-employment from 2022 also you or your spouse if filing jointly and not a dependent on someone else's federal income tax return and you should not have zero dollars or less than ten thousand three hundred in investment income if that is the case you may be eligible to receive credit up to six hundred dollars apply for the working family tax credit head over to working family tax credit dot wa dot gov slash apply remember guys you have to hurry because the application period is open until december 31st 2023 so don't lose out don't miss this opportunity all you need is these documents and you can easily apply within few minutes depending on number of qualifying children your filing status you will be going to receive up to one thousand two hundred dollars if you are making less than fifty three thousand dollars as single or less than fifty nine thousand as a married filing joint check this chart to see how much maximum credit amount you are qualified for now remember to be eligible for the tax credit these are the requirements and make sure to file before december 31st 2023 for more information head over to washington department of revenue site meanwhile idaho is also providing special session rebates illinois is also providing income tax rebate or 
property tax rebate also there is a main winter energy relief payments those were approved may be able to receive rebate until september 30 2023 also we got massachusetts tax refund we still have got the deadline for september 15 2023 to file for the tax returns and there are some states which are decreasing the state taxes there are 22 states which will pay lower in income taxes in this year and next year than they did in the previous year these are all list of 22 states which will be lowering their income taxes i hope you found this video helpful make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and this is kedar from how to guys see you in the next video